Bubba Kai writes, Aloha Collider crew, been a big fan since yesterday. The question <laughs> I, I have I love that. is about what happened to the hit movie song or soundtrack. Back in the 80s and 90s, you got a constant string of hit songs, soundtracks, and music videos that accompanied movies to help promote them. To this day, if I mention Simple Minds, Don't You Forget About Me, or Kenny Loggins' Danger Zone, or Lindsay Buckingham Holiday Road, you instantly know the film it comes from. It seems to me that the studio is missing out on a great promotion tool just wondering your thoughts thanks and keep up the great sweatness <laughs> mark why don't you, you're the big soundtrack guy yeah let's I, hit it i want to hang out with bubba man he's got good taste in music and look i think a lot of the reason why you don't see this stuff anymore is because when you turn on mtv you don't see music videos like music videos are just not used at all anymore maybe occasionally a band will release something or you'll see a tag at the end of a kid's movie like zootopia with shakira but it's very few and far between whereas beforehand you're right it was a great promotional tool we i mean uh, producer jonathan were back there talking before the show about all these great videos that we saw particularly in the 80s and 90s when we were growing up that it's like oh i want to go see that movie now and a lot of them were like mid 90s a few in the late 90s then they really started to dry up like the ones that really stand out to me were i that brian adam Everything I do for Robin Hood was everywhere, man. I was also a huge, not only Young Guns 2 fan, but Bon Jovi fan when he did that soundtrack with Blaze of Glory. The most recent one I could think of off the top of my head was Mission Impossible 2 when Metallica did I Disappear and they did that music video, which ended up being a lot better than Mission Impossible 2. I would say Drive was a pretty good one as yeah. well, too. Drive had a good um, soundtrack, but I think that there's there's a bunch of... They don't do it the way they used to because also the way that we listen to music has changed dramatically as well, mm -hmm. too. And there was that promotional tool back in the day, the way that they would use soundtracks, that, and they would also use those videos to, to sell the movie. They don't do it the same way now. So it's definitely... I. For me, it's funny. I, I pick out scores for movies more than I do soundtracks. But Perry, what yeah. do you think has changed? At this point, I'm buying more scores than soundtracks. But I mean, the game has just completely changed. The only one that I could think about using a soundtrack as a selling tool, recently at least, is, is Twilight and mm. Hunger Games, like when Lord curated it. Like that was a big selling tool. Like, you know, here we're going to sample the soundtrack and make you want to see the movie. But the problem with that is none of the songs were then in the movie or maybe they were just all in the credits and I got up and left too quickly. But it's not like it used to be. Like the ones that come to my mind are movies like Can't Hardly Wait and Empire Records. I can listen to that soundtrack all the way through and Scream too. I could listen to those soundtracks all the way through and picture when it comes up in the movie. And that was the pleasure I used to get out of listening to soundtracks. Yeah, I mean, there were even there were, there were songs that were used in movies that were songs before the movie came out, but then you identify them with that film. Like it, sometimes you get teased with it and it never happens. Remember the movie Take Me Home Tonight? Had a great soundtrack. You know what it didn't have? Eddie Money, are you kidding me? The one that I think of sometimes is I'm a huge Van Halen fan. Panama, it comes on. I'm usually rocking out. And occasionally I'll think of that parking lot scene in Superbad when they're just driving around the cop car and shooting stuff. So that's, yeah. as, that's as far a recent as I can get. Um, some great, great suggestions and, and examples here of some good soundtracks from the fans here. You got Guardians of the Galaxy, which was a really good one. That, they, and they, that was part of the storyline. Right. was the soundtrack. Yeah. That's awesome probably mix. one of the best examples. Deadpool recently was one. And Frozen. Frozen was a big. I mean that that yeah. those Disney movies, man. They'll all yeah. they, they just get inside your soul. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. That's about true. It. So those are a lot of great examples out there. There's Thank a good you Frozen joke in Zootopia. There is. There's, there's a great. There's, yeah. there's two Frozen jokes in Zootopia. Yeah, I have to tell You've you. You've seen that movie like hundreds of times. Zootopia? No, no, no. Frozen. Frozen. Yeah, my daughter. It's my daughter's favorite. Right nah, now. before you had a daughter, you saw the movie a bunch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.